The Special Economic Services Committee met today at the legislature for the first time since senators passed a bill raising the business privilege tax by 1% on April 1st and creating a 2% sales tax that will begin on October 1st. While these tax increases are helping Gov Guam cover its shortfall, the public auditor says more could be done to improve collections for taxes that are currently owed. As far as income is concerned, March is not one of the best months that we expect. And we came in roughly within 5% of where we expected to be. But there is still $34 million owed to GovGuam vendors. Speaker BJ Cruz says he's been working on finding additional sources of revenue to replace the 1% increase to the BPT and the soon-to-be 2% sales tax. Yesterday, he held a public hearing on two bills, one to raise property taxes, the other to raise taxes on cigarettes and alcohol. However, the biggest pushback has been from people who say GovGuam needs to focus on improving its collections of existing taxes. We do aggressively collect and all these meetings that we have we do aggressively collect uh, on the receivables. As far as collection, we, we've been doing a lot of collections. Uh, we need, we're going to try and get those 10 revenue officers in as soon as possible. Uh, as far as the stamp tobacco, we are meeting with the stakeholders on, on April 10 to address you know, this, this machine and all these responsibilities that we'll be, be moving forward on, on, the, on the stamp tobacco. With all due respect to uh, Department of Revenue and Taxation, the biggest challenge that they face is they continue to be a manual operation. We have two audits ongoing right now. One is on tobacco tax, and there are significant control lapses there and uh, that are occurring. And uh, this is where taxes are supposed to be taken up front, but the bonded warehouse, uh, there's no reconciliation you know, uh, and all, uh, between what is brought in, what is brought out. Likewise, in the real property tax audit uh, that we're doing right now, um, uh, 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 we see the significant amount of uh, accounts receivable. Let me just say for the record that those accounts receivable that are on the books of Department of Revenue and Tax taxation is not on the books of Department of Administration. An audit on gaming tax. Again, I, as I reported, they were behind almost a year in the posting of, of the manual returns to even know who did file, who did pay. Revin Tax said they will continue to do their best to collect as many taxes as possible. And BBMR Director Lester Carlson says that GovGuam will be okay as long as the recently raised taxes aren't rescinded.